Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 here in Gelderland. But I probably won't bother with sheep. I mean, it depends how I can set something up. But I actually rather like the idea of getting all the animals going as well. So chickens will need grain. The pigs is the big one, and I, I want a, a big lot of pigs, and I might make a, 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 a modification or two to a, a mod so that, you know, one, one of the animal pens or something, um, so that we can sort of do pigs in a style that I, I feel fits best. Because what I don't want is several pens of pigs where we've got to be constantly running around with a load of food, because that's going to get dull. So I'd rather be able to have a pen and put several pigs in it. So that's what I think we're going to do. Chickens as well, I think, would be a lot of fun, but we're going to need some grain if we're going to be able to have chickens and, and stuff. So the first thing that I think that we need to do is get some wheat or barley. I always prefer barley. And I, I genuinely don't... I've tried explaining this before as to why I sort of always want barley rather than wheat. I still don't actually know. I just like the idea of having barley over wheat. And no no real clue why. But I figure that what we should do is it's August and there are several fields here on this map that have got uh, grain growing in them and the, ready to harvest and everything else. So maybe we should take advantage of this and we should do some harvesting. So if we were to go and buy another field, I'm trying to turn around and get the, the last bit there. If we were to get ourselves a field of barley or a field of wheat we could combine that field and then we would have some grain that we could have here at the farm and then we'd be able to get some chickens and we can feed the chickens straight away so we already have a little bit of income coming in now i know that i currently have a half a million euros and i've got the government subsidy thing i'm not going to keep that like we're not gonna we're not gonna go crazy with it. We're gonna use it to fund us a little bit, but it's it's not going to be sort of a permanent feature. I'm gonna get rid of all those government subsidy things because I feel quite frankly that this is probably not playing entirely fair. But I want to be able to get some machinery just to start off with to to, to just to help us get get set up and get started. Everybody needs a little bit of a, a start in life. Everyone needs a little bit of a help to. To start things off in life and and this is what we're doing this is what the government subsidy thing is it's just giving us a little bit of a helping hand to start us off in life um while we sort of figure out that the different things that we want to do and and how we want to to live our life and, and so on so that's that's all it is it's just a little bit extra just to help us along um at like seven hundred and fifty thousand euros an hour for however long we want it but who's counting? No, no, nobody's really counting. So it, 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 honestly, it doesn't matter. Now I need to do this, and I need to dump out another one hundred and fifty odd thousand liters of silage. And then once we've done that, we need to roll the clamp. And the rolling of the clamp is the bit that's going to be difficult. Now I got sixty thousand liters of silage in the back of this thing, and. <laughs> Nowhere to put it. I've run out of space. All right. Well, I managed managed to pop it in there somehow. All right. Yep. We, we, we've done this. This yard is really not best suited to the, the, the type of machinery that I, I'm kind of thinking that I want to use on this series. And also, my driving is not really best suited to it. Let's let's see if we can try that again. In round there, there we go. That's better. Bring you round. All right, let's let's just leave that one there. This tractor is difficult to use. I I, I genuinely am struggling with this tractor. Let's put you in the shed for a minute. You you stay there. Right, we need something to be able to roll this clamp of silage with. And so that's a leveller. Now, I don't know much about the levellers because I haven't used any of them. There's there's all kinds. So we got a... Ooh, what's this? Right. And that just... It, it kind of churns around as it goes and spreads stuff out, I'm guessing. Which seems very cool. I like the idea of that. That one does much the same by the look of it. 
Uh, what else? And then there's these. The, these uh, jum jumbo jumbo adapter. Oh, I see. That's uh, that's, that's to go on a front loader. And then this one is to go on the back of a tractor. Yeah, this this is very similar, but this one is a trailed one. Oh, I see. Yeah, this this is one of those, almost like uh, one of the things that's used to a grader used for um, like making roads and stuff. All right, I kind of like the idea of using that. That's the lizard version, and then this, these here. Oh, we got two. We got two different. We used to drag all types of crops that are on the ground and make piles, and compact silos and piles in the silos. And you can also collect materials such as snow or animal manure. Ah, that's pretty cool. I like this. It's ten thousand liters capacity. This one is. This one doesn't have a capacity. This one just pushes stuff around. Uh, I want to try these out. Let's try both of them. All right. There's there's no real options other than the the, the work speed. So obviously we we just want to test out what work speed it can do. Twenty three twenty three k. All right. Let's let's go with that. Buy. Yep. Uh, no no color options on that one. And then this one over here. Working speed forty k. I'm not going to bother changing that. Just buy that one. That, that'll do rather nicely as well. And I think I'm going to want a, a slightly different tractor as well. Because I feel the tractor I'm using is, is maybe a little bit oversized for what we want. Um, so I'm going to need to... Like the, the, the basic ones right here. We don't really have much in the way of color options. And I want color options. So I'm going to need to find a mod that has the kind of color options that we want now some john deere's there i don't want a john deere i've already got a john deere so i want something different what does this one do we've got the fence right there main color it has some selections but it's all fence colors they're very careful that they've stayed with all the fence colors hmm so you got design oh that's on the cab i see that and you've got a bit of blue and then we can ah right well that stands out a bit more and if we go with the main color, we can have that as, as a fent blue. And then the rim color can sort of be, well, it could be orange to match that. We could go with yellow. I like it. I actually quite like this. I think it's, I think this fits rather nicely. With front fender, without front fender, and with, oh, you get forest cages. Let's stick a forest cage on this one because my driving. And engine setup is 396. That goes up to 500 horsepower. Not very powerful by some of our standards, but I think it'll probably be all right. So let's let's have a look at this one. That's 370,000, cheap at half the price, and that leaves us with a little bit of money left over. Um, I'm going to need to get this one back down there. Possibly the time has come to. I don't want to get rid of the trailer. I'm just wondering whether or not we should change the lorry over to something different. Something that will go just a little bit quicker, a little bit more efficiently. I don't know. Something that we, we'll think about that. We'll, we'll have a think about that. Uh, bring you out this way. And also, I'm going to want to find a field that has got barley or wheat in it. Now, we are here. So we've got wheat in field 12 over there. Barley. Is that barley? I don't actually know what that is. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, that's grass. Those those are all... Okay, so there's a lot of grass here. Uh, 16... Barley and wheat. That's, that's wheat in field 12. Is there any barley growing here? You turn it off and on a bit, you can get it sometimes to like flash at you. There's no barley growing anywhere on the map. Wheat, we've got a few options. There's actually a little bit of wheat there growing in the middle of town. Surprise, surprise. 
So we'll have to, I think we'll go with field 12. We're going to want to buy field 12. So if we go to farmland and we go to field 12 over here, it's 193,000. I can't afford that yet. That's the closest one. And that will get us the grain that we want. So we're going to need to just go on a little bit with the time and then we can get that one. And I also need to roll the clamp. So we'll we'll do the clamp rolling first and then we'll come back and we'll buy that. Field. Actually, you know what? We should buy that field soon. Because I'm a bit concerned that they might just try and harvest that field without my consent. Let me, dri uh, let me drive over there and see if there's still a field of wheat there. If there's not, we'll have to buy something from the shop. Oh, it looks like the wheat's already harvested. Oops. Uh, okay, apparently the wheat has already been harvested. I missed my opportunity there, so we can't do that. Uh, in which case, we'll just... We won't buy that we'll buy some grain from the shop instead and we'll figure something out for bringing it back we've still got that vehicle right there i haven't made any modifications to that one that's on my to-do list and all right let me just come in here a second yeah you, you you wait there a minute and i can't see where i'm going there right i, I just need to be able to see where i'm going and, and these trees are right in the way and nothing against the trees as such. They're just in my way. So I'm, I'm just politely moving them. Uh, those are the ones that we'll need to come down here with the, with the tractor and, and, and deal with. So we're just, we're just moving a couple. That's all. There's a, a hickory. There's a, another hickory right there. And yeah, I, I, let me just get rid of this one as well. We're on a roll right now. This is... Oh, it doesn't... It didn't actually say. Okay. Uh... Yeah, that's looking pretty good. And there. That's better. Now I can see where I'm going. Ha-ha! <laughs> and there's also less danger of things being swept off the truck. So I feel this is a win all round. We'll race on up through this way. It does take a little bit to get going. I think, you know, possibly the, um, the way to the trader is a little bit much for it. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in here. And it's, it's really fortunate that we know the person that owns this field. And he's happy for us to reverse our lorry. Like come in onto his field and, and reverse in here. It, it's really lucky for us that he's okay with that. Um, I mean, we won't mention the fact that he's actually not okay with it. And he gets really angry with us. But there's also not a lot that he can do about it. Because, yeah. Reasons reasons we won't go into and i want to get right i see so that's just like a scraper type thing and then this one actually picks the stuff up and, and moves it around so i'm hoping this tractor here we need a front weight i have a front weight two and a half tons that should be enough that'll help weigh us down a little bit there we go look at that that's more like it and now I can go and pick these up. So let's just grab this one a minute and see what it's all about. What controls we got. We got uh, unloading X, follow, open cover. Right, Z is open cover. Oh, I see. That drops down and then you drive along and pick stuff up as you, as you go along and then... You pick it up like that, and then X is unloading. And you just keep driving as you're unloading, I'm guessing. As it pushes that one out. And then we stop unloading, we, we put it back again. That's cool. And then it'll close that back down again. All right. I like this. We'll see, we'll see how well this one works out. I've absolutely no idea what it's going to be like. It, it might work really, really well. It might not. This front weight that we've got doesn't actually have a hitch on the front. Some of them do. They have a hitch on the front. And so you can use that to just sort of help you along a little bit. Let's... Bring you up like that. I'm going to reverse this one up on. And... It's a little bit easier for me to reverse because this one is um, like a, a standard tractor. He says, making the pig's ear of the reversing. 
Let's try and put this in a bit straighter. There. Excellent. Right, perfectly done. That one's going to stay up there. And then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to grab the next one. This one I don't think is got very much that we need to worry about. We can just grab it there. Now, we've got, I figure, this one I'm guessing is just... Oh, Unfold Refinery. Ah! <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. Except that's going to be a bit wide for using. And then you can use this on the mouse control. Can we do it? Uh, joystick does work as well. So you can, u you can use the joystick to raise and lower. Like that. And then you've also got the wheels that can raise and lower as well. All right, that's pretty cool. I like that. Now, I'm just going to close that one up. Something else that I was thinking was, you know, we could buy some um, chicken feed from here. That's why I put that one all the way up the front. Because I thought we'd get a few pallets of chicken feed and um, we can bring it in. Because I'd really like to get the chickens started. But we don't actually need to do that. Because what we can do is we can get a mod... And we can just buy it. And there are... So rather than buying in a load of pallets, we can just go here and then you get silos, is it? We have a multi-fruit buying station right here. And I think you can get pretty much anything with it. It's that one right there. And there are a few others that are like that. So we've got like a few options that we can put on the farm for buying grain um, to be able to feed our chickens. We're going to want a trailer for that. All right, let's, uh, let's just jump into the tractor. So if I bring this one forward a bit. There. Oh. Uh, all right. That, <laughs> um, that wasn't quite what I was expecting from that. I thought it was going to just hitch onto the front of the weight and I'd like missed something. Apparently not. <laughs> I just, I was doing so well. I, I really was. I was doing so well with this. I, I was really proud of myself. I, I'd, I'd, I'd done, I'd, I'd, I'd done like really good things. Uh... Oh, there we go. Right. No, turn around that way. Yeah. Yeah. And... Careful. 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 Ish. Sort of done it ish. Uh, apparently that's not quite right. Can I unhitch that? Okay. I have unhitched it. Let me jump back over here. So we're, we're going with option B now. And we're putting the stuff back on here. And then we're just going to pretend that this never happened. Whole, this this whole affair never actually took place. So that one's going to stop there. You wait there a minute. And then I need to go over here and put this one on here. Oop. How does that work? Let's do that. And there. Okay. This can work. Hmm. Well, sort of work. Just put that one there. It's kind of working. 
spin you around a little bit. Let's try that. Aha! Right, that's 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 looking ish okay. Uh tractor is is, is moved over a bit. It's there. And then I need to do something with <laughs> that one. Oh, that's because I picked up the trailer. <laughs> I was doing so well with this. You go on a little bit. There, right. Stop there. Don't move. Don't do anything. Just stay right where you are. And then this one here, I can this one I'm 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 pretty confident that we can get this one onto the trailer now. Yep, 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 yep. There, right, uh bring you over and down. Let's put that one there. Is that in the mi middle ish, middle ish. It's 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 in the middle ish. And then I need a trailer. Now, I need a trailer with a, a, a reasonable capacity, so we're going to have to look around and see what we got. I was thinking something like that with a capacity of like 100,000 litres would be pretty good, but apparently we don't have that just yet. So that's going to be on our to-do list of things that we want to get later on. Uh, these are not; these are just the auto-load ones. Um, it's not really what I'm after. Beat Ninja, 30,000. I've got this Flegel right here that has 120,000 litres of anything we want. And then there is also this one here which has 60,000. But I actually really like the look of this trailer. I, I really do. I, I like the look of this one. So I'm going to want that one. You've got configuration with an extension there. Extension 2, 60,000. I'd rather it had without the extension bit on it. And still had 60,000. That, that's what I would prefer. But I, I just really like the look of this trailer. Um, we can change the colours on it a bit if we want to. We can go, there's, there's all kinds of colour options on it here. Um, typical Stevie fashion. That's what we'd expect. I'm going to go with that one. The rim colour here can go with yellow to match the logo on there. That's so, but that's only 60,000. I'm not sure if that's enough. And then you've also got this one over here by Stevie. This one goes up to 120,000, which I think might actually be better. So we will do that one. You've got extension. It stays the same on there. And then number two goes all the way up to 120. So if I go with that one and we've got the main color on here, this one I'm going to go with slightly less color options in here. It's a little bit of a shame. Entirely stainless steel with pink wheels. Yes, I like it. That's what we will do. So we'll buy that one for 64000 Excellent. That's just what we want. And I need to load this one on the trailer behind the other stuff that we've already got on here. So we'll use the yard shunting device that we've got. And we will shunt this trailer up onto here. Like that. There. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. There. Right, now everything is loaded. Uh, next, I want to just put the back up. Like that. There we go. Is that. Yep, that's all locked into place. Excellent. And then. I've put all the straps on as well. I'm hoping that's going to help to hold everything down. And now we need to be able to get around this corner without things going horribly, horribly wrong. Fortunately, I've removed a load of trees further up. So we should be all right with that. Okay. Right, this is actually looking good. We're, we're, we're making some progress. We're getting there. I know that I've taken quite a while to load this stuff up, but it'll be fine. I think that that tractor's moving. I just need you to stay there until we get back to the farm. That's all. And I, I will change this truck because it's a little bit slow. And I feel that we could improve things on that. Just, just a tiny smidgen. So we will do that. I don't think we're going to leave the, the 
truck is the one we've got. I just really like this one. I mean, I guess maybe if we can give it a little bit more power, then we could stick with this one. And this is where I, this is the bit I don't like is, is going under these trees. No, 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 stay still. No, 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 steady. Um, apparently straps don't work on the bit up on the top up there. And also, apparently turning the corner quickly is not a good idea because it throws the machinery off. Or tries to tip the trailer over because the machinery strapped the trailer. I'm sure we'll be fine. So we just need to... Look at him. Look at the front wheels. They're way up in the air. Let's bring this on round. Like that. Steady. Steady. Easy does it. We're leaning over a little bit here. Let's bring this in slow. I'm actually being a bit sensible with this. Because, well, I feel that I need to be. I still have to use the brake system. It's just it's just written in. And tick straps off, and then everything miraculously kind of just, like, levels itself out again. And we shut off. Right, okay, so we've done that bit there, and we now need to just unload a few things. So let's move that one out of the way. And let's put you over here. And then that one there. You you need to come off as well. Actually, I want to turn that one around. It'd be easier to get to. So you there. You can go there like that. And now we want you. Start the engine. So we just want to be able to level our silage cloud. That's all. All, all of that was so that we could level the silage cloud. Very e efficiency is our watchword around here. That's that's what it's all about. It's all about efficiency. So let me have you right there, and then this one. Um, pressing V, what's it doing? V doesn't actually do anything at all. I don't want to unfold it. Just want to lower it down. Ah, like that. Okay. Right, I don't think I can use this one in here if I make it wide. Like, if, if I open it out. What's it do here? If I, I think I'm going to have to, though. Hmm. Right, it doesn't seem to want to do anything. Um, hmm. Maybe I should try unfolding it then. Let's see what that does. All right, let's, oh, right. Now it's working. Ha ha, look at this. And it's spreading it out really quickly as well. Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.